Hello, this is Sean Ashcraft, and welcome to Coffee and Cigarettes, episode two, featuring uh, a new segment that we are calling <clears throat> Does It VNC? Um, is it Friday at 2 12 30 a.m.? No, it's not. Well, that's okay. Um, here we have uh, an iMac running OS 9. And I wanted to see how well it it could VNC. VNC, get it? No, that's fine. <laughs> well, um, sometimes the VNC apps have some pretty trippy uh, things that happen. And uh, I got a lot of fan noise going on. So apologize for all of the audio sounds. It's just gonna it's just gonna sound like this. Uh, I don't really know what to do about it, but um, we'll also be able to hear uh, the sounds of the iMac because I got it set up in a cool way. So um, and just to demonstrate, right there, we've got the the very first snap. You can see this is a very snappy interface, OS nine, and uh, yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. You know, it's like, I don't even know what's going on, but it's making snappy sounds and I like it. So we're going to keep it. Um, <clears throat> the OS nine, it runs applications. It can, you can save documents on it. That's all you really need to do. Um, it looks like there's a printer hooked up to it. There is not a printer hooked up to it. I, I don't know why this is here. I don't know how it got here and you can't really see it cause I'm hiding it. I mean, just listen to this snappy interface. You know, it's nuts. Um, but we got the trash down here. I'll put that back down in the corner. So yeah, I got my to-do list. I do have a like a broken speaker. If I try to run the audio straight out into the speaker, it just sounds nasty. Um, but I've been finding a lot of cool applications that have been able to run things. Uh, I'll try not to let my vowels go long because then you can hear the fan sound in the background if you got like headphones like I do. I got like cranked all the way up so um not cranked all the way up. I actually have it cranked to like 25% maybe. I can even maybe turn it down a little more. There. How's that? That's fine. Cool. <clears throat> and I can still hear I can hear this great. Sounds great. Okay so um let's just see if it can VNC <clears throat> what I really mean by who is this okay? What I really mean by that is um, I want to see if uh, it can run VNC. <clears throat> oh, I did not mean to open this up. That's still pretty cool. That's the version of VNC that this thing's running. Um, so you can see here that basically all of the built-in memory is taken up by Mac OS. Um, but luckily this little VNC guy runs pretty small. Um, I was goofing around with the virtual memory. I don't know. Um, I did find some memory that you can get for this guy. So maybe I could order some hardware, get like the memory jacked up <clears throat> to like a gigabyte or something like that. <clears throat> maybe I'll get like two half gigs in case like the full gig doesn't work and I can just have half gig. I don't know. I'm just thinking out loud um but yeah the other thing uh it does is applications um so we're gonna see which applications work here um before we get to the uh the star of the show uh let's try some demo scene stuff here's psych out let's see how well psych out runs over vnc uh, and I can, while this is loading, I can give a visual on the actual iMac. It's right behind. Oh my gosh. That's so hardcore. Okay, so you can't really see what's going on, and the music's probably really loud, but that's fine. I'm not clipping anywhere, so at least not on my end. Okay. Wait a 
we're definitely turning that down on my headphones. Uh, not turning it down for you, but anyway, um, on the actual iMac, we can see lots of cool moving colors. It is a pretty cool psychic, psych, psychedelic light show. Um, but unfortunately over VNC, we just get like just the, around the, the pixel that we are selecting. Because in VNC, it, usually it just shows like a pixel where your cursor is rather than a mouse pointer. And so we can see all the little branches here and you know, wherever I move my mouse around. It updates, so it's not too exciting. And this music, if you're not too excited about this music, good news. You can press a button and it just loads the same song over again. Or maybe that was the end of the loop. Hmm? Let's see if it. Nope, that's the only track that we have available. So, um. <clears throat> pressing escape turns off the music, so that. That, that's going to help me out here, because that was kind of loud. Uh, pressing enter. <clears throat> here we go. Now we're back into <laughs> real-time reality. Not just a facsimile of reality. Um, we have the options menu available. Obviously, you know, if we want information, that's not what the eye does. The eye prints like an image or I don't know what it does. We can press the question mark to get a full explanation of really what's going on here. <clears throat> Wait. It it doesn't really explain <laughs> what the menu is. It just I assume M music, change music. So you hit the M. And that'll change the music. Pressing this button will oh okay, yeah. Oh no, that'll pressing M will close the menu bar. But if you press the M key, that'll change the music. Now it makes sense. Uh, pressing this button will bring you to the last image, next image, imported image. I don't want to do an imported image. This is how I got here. This is how you quit the program. Why am I showing the menu? I don't know. Just wanted to show that this is like a an app, and it seems to run okay. And you can random er, er, randomize it by hitting the space bar. Dear God. Totally forgot how loud this music was. Um, but unfortunately, you can't really see any change to the randomization because, uh, yeah. So we're just gonna turn off that there music. We're gonna bring up the menu. We're gonna hit the quick but quit button. Oh, and I wish it stayed in that color palette. That would be great. But no, I was OS nine does seem to get back to normal here. <clears throat> Here's another great app for the OS system. It is Nico. Um, and why am I doing any of this stuff? Uh, I started to allude to it earlier. Um, where? It didn't, she didn't make a sound. He? She? It? Um, they? didn't make a sound and uh let's see what was i gonna say um just thought maybe some of the stuff would be kind of cool for aqua wizard imagery or inspiration or something like that um here's something we definitely have to check out and that is <clears throat> the rap master comments about rap master uh, just load it up you don't need no comments oh your computer can only play one sound at a time I guess we'll we have to cancel, or we don't have to cancel. Never mind. Let's move this up here just in case my thing is. I don't really have like a preview of what I'm doing here, but I mean, Rap Master. It's uh, it's basically exactly what it that you can turn the volume up to eleven. Maybe I'll turn that down as we go through. But you can, yeah. Uh, let's turn on a beatbox. That's what I'm talking about. Might just start like a little bit softer. That is exactly the same level. It this doesn't change the level at all. Maybe it changes the volume after you start it. No. It's just as loud. Uh, and the voiceover. 
I'm going to turn that off there. The voiceover, that is um, in the mic. That's The iMac is like across the room. It would have been kind of cool to put the iMac like over my shoulder or something like that. But no, I'm not going to do that. Uh, but yeah, we get different effects. Yeah. The bass. Oh yeah, and these uh, don't necessarily sync. fade out there. Okay, there we go. And now I've screwed up my mic again. So that's okay. Well, it'll kind of figure itself out soon. Okay, well, um, up next we've got SimCity 2000. It still hasn't crashed yet. We'll just kind of keep running apps and stuff until this thing crashes. Okay. It's just switching color palettes there. Ooh, that was nice. Uh, that noise is actually the... The dithering noise. That's what it really sounds like. Alright, I had a, a starter city here. I'm kind of ready to go. Obviously, <laughs> this did not... Uh, let me pause this thing. This did not, uh, run, you know, create, this did not naturally form in a city like this. Um, I was goofing around in the urban renewal kit for SimCity 2000 and added this. So that's why I have this ridiculousness here. Well, let's just run it at, uh, Eternal's pace, whatever. Who cares? See what happens. Um, <clears throat> stuff seems to work. We got the police station. We got the fire station. We got the, uh... Launch Arco, yeah, A plus conditions. Wow, I didn't even try. It just kind of did that. Launch Arco, can I rename it? Yeah, I don't know, man. That's kind of a little iffy. All right, well, don't really want to play some city, but let's put it in a zoo. Got to put it next to buildings. It wants to be powered. I forget, do you need to power a zoo? Is that supposed to be a lion? Water pump? No, uh, sound effect there. Not necessary for water pump. Let's just get out of here. No, I do not want to save the city. Alright, so far stuff, so stuff works great. Um, we got virtual fireplace. Vert V 2.0. Let's check it out. Very snappy, as usual. Screams. Of course you want screams. Just uh, run it. Got the techno theme. Okay. It's very postmodern. Okay, there we go. Something did it. Or is that just the end of the sound loop and it's going to start over soon? Well, anyway, in OS 9, there's not really the dock like uh, most people are used to in OS X. Um, or in other, like, common... Oh, you know, this is VNC has locked up. Uh, I can see the uh, screen there on the iMac, but I cannot really interact anymore. So this may have ended the VNC session. Uh, Fireplace two, version 2.0 seems to be the thing 
that uh, at least got it in a pretty stuck state for a while there, but now it seems to be back, so... Yeah, we got the snappy sound effects coming in good, so... Not screwed yet, you know, it's a good application to run in OS 9, or any OS. Medicine. Let's check it out. Um, oops. Yeah. Ran the wrong one. Uh, these, uh, applications courtesy of Macintosh Garden. Macintosh Garden, I don't know where that is. Okay, this is medicine. It can be a little overwhelming at first, and I always forget what to do. Is this it? Okay, let's see what this does. How do I play this? Ah, I forget. Go! Oh my gosh. Oh, please stop. Oh my gosh, that was so annoying. Um... Yeah, that was not very cool. Let me... Gosh, how do you do stuff? Rotate? Let's rotate it. Oh, you can rotate it. Oh yeah, like that, man. Check that ish out. Okay, now I gotta hear what this sounds. Rotated that sound. Okay, that's kinda neat. Um, there's like a way to do semitones, or you can do the major scale. Uh, let's hear that. It's a little more, you can kind of get a better idea of the sound there, I don't know, just try to throw in some of that shit. Oof, that's yeah, not, that's not great. You can, oh, you can then you can synthesize it, smooth it out, interpolate, ooh, that was a big interpolation right there. Not really sure what that's supposed to do. Getting some uh, radio head vibes. Okay, there are some different um, tools. Um, what's cool? Im quantize? Eh. Let's listen to that. Adds a little rhythm to the changes. Eh, not that interesting. Um, oh, this is kind of cool. Um, invert the pitch, maybe? Eh, that doesn't really do anything particularly cool right in this context. It is kind of cool to hear it backwards. What's this do? Hmm, nothing, really. Oh, is that like... what is this? There's no tooltips. Where are the tooltips? Oh, here. You have to pay attention. Brush, grid, shift. Okay. Anyway. Oh yeah, and then you can change the sound. Um... Let's hear this. Not as, I don't know, it's about the same. What about the sample? Ooh, that's kind of cool. And there's some presets. This is kind of cool sometimes. That's pretty neat. Ooh, I bet reverse that would sound really cool. Oh yeah. Now we're talking. Emboss to the right. Oh. Yeah, 
Oops. Displacement map. Oh, I don't want this. Anyway. Contrast and luminescence. Offset and transpose. You kind of move it around. Let's put this more like... Like that. Alright. It's pretty neat. I forget what all this shit is. Um, and I don't know why this is here. I just remember this thing. So that's, uh... Metasynth. Cool. It didn't crash everything? That's great. Nice. Um, I do have Logic Platinum. Let's check out this Chiron thing. What do I even click on? Um... Application program. I think this is an astrology thing. Let's check it out. Um, oh, I have to put in some data. Let's just, like, make up, make up some data. Let's be for Aqua Wizard. Second name. Oh, okay, got it. Aqua. Wizard. Um, when was he born? Um, pro uh, seems like a guy that would be born in June. June 6th. 1966. Uh, where? Um, I don't have, like, the longitude and latitude. I'll just have to make some stuff up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, is that even possible? That's not even possible. Place. Um. Under the sea. Okay, time. I don't know. Four twenty. Oh yeah. Why not? Sure. Okay. Do I hit calculate or I think I think I hit calculate. So oops. Let's get rid of that. Do that one more time. Okay. No change. Um apparently Given this information here, Aqua Wizard is a Gemini. Right? That's your sun. And then moon is Capricornus. I think that's right. I'm just say okay. Whatever. And then it generates your astrology table. Boom. Look at that. And I don't have no idea what Honestly, I've got no idea what any of this is. I don't even know what the symbols mean. That's how basic I am. But you know, if I needed to know what, uh, you know, transits or directions, the houses, yeah, I kind of feel a little bit more, uh, companious. Just, yeah. Ascending, because it's about the cycles of the sun and, or, I, I don't actually, I don't, I have no idea. But, you know, you can check out your bicep tiles. It's cool. Just different angles. I don't get it, but there it is for uh, Aqua Wizard, I would imagine. Something like that. Uh, do I want to say my change? No. It's a cool symbol. Very inspiring. Um... Audio Catalyst, that works. A clockwork apple. <laughs> I did create my own clock color combination here. Of course I've got the analog clock. I'm just going to set that there. I kind of like the uh, sound feedback because it gives me like some idea where it's going to end up on VNC. Just by how much sound I get. 
The thing is, the VNC does not transport audio by default, so you have to kind of route that some other way. Uh, AKA, just plug some headphones into the computer. But if you're running, like, you know, a fake or a remote computer, a virtual computer, not a fake computer. Aren't computers already kind of virtual computers in a, in a sense? Virtual, virtual computers. What else is cool? Uh, bird song is pretty cool. This has got some good sounds. And this is just like a demo, I think. Distribute it freely, but don't sol sold it. Alright, let's check out a morning dove. And that's just how it sounds, it just has that, that quantization noise. I've got fan noise from my laptop from recording video, but... So that's a morning dove that I haven't... Hmm. I always thought that was a loon or something. Cheeseburgers. Cheeseburgers. Oh, yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Right. Classic Robin. Okay, let's do the Blue Jay. Classic Blue Jay. Okay, let's stop. Stop all this shit. Get out of here. Um, that's cool. <laughs> let's see, what else is cool? I was really excited about this, and then when I ran it... Look how tiny it is! Thank god I can zoom, you know. Oh my god. Look at the tiny guy! It's very relaxing. Apparently it can go a lot faster. 60 frames per second. I can tell you it's a lot smoother on the actual iMac, but we'll go nice and slow for the VNC. Alright, very chill. Let me edit this real quick. Just copy and paste it. No big deal. Zoom on out of here. Okay, you probably want to see Oregon Trail. Um, that's too bad. I don't remember how to run it. It's an image file. I don't know what to do with that. I'm here to run Rap Master. Okay, I skipped a bunch of stuff. I thought that would work a little different. Oh yeah, 3D edit. This kind of works, but I don't really know. I don't really understand how graphic editing stuff works. Uh, what else do we got? Virtual fireplace made a crash last time. Oh, I do have, um, kid pics on here. So let me go to that and then I'll top it off with some Wolf Wolfenstein. So kid pics for some reason is not in the application folder, I think. It's just chilling out on the hard drive. All right, here comes kid pics. That was pretty anticlimactic. I had like a yay, dun da da, kid pics or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, this computer came from Washington Elementary School, and there's some software already on it. Otherwise, it's mostly just uh. Well, there you go. You got the uh, classic draw sounds. Um, the bloop bloops and all that good stuff. Uh, there's small kids mode. I thought this is apparently not small kids mode. Um, we can. Oh, I do remember messing around with the recording sound thing. I always kind of like that. Um, but I am not anywhere close to the microphone. Uh, then with the switcheroo, you can go to Wacky TV, and they've got some Wacky TV, let me tell you. 
Whack TV 2000. Or, sorry, Wacky Color 2000. Where is the Wacky TV? This is Puzzle Power. What are you doing here? This is not even close to oh, Kid Picks. Wacky TV. Alright, feeling patriotic here. American flag. Let's check it out. Does this animate? It does, and it has a sound. Damn. Good thing I can mix it up, it's too boring. Oh, it didn't make the oh no guy. Alright, what does this do? Oh, it opens up something else. Let's see how scary this ghost is. It's a bit scarier than I was expecting. That's enough scary stuff. Sid one, uh oh. What's this gonna be? Better be suitable for work. It's uh, apparently just purple. <laughs> Not sure what I was expecting. Slid one. All right, this is what I was. It's just two shades of purple. Okay. Um, uh, what's the volcano? That's, that's that's kind of fun. Is this how you close? Yep. <laughs> Is this? Is this how you close it? Really? Okay, um, there's, uh, stamps and, uh, hidden pictures. I was always confused what this is. Um, I was like, what? I didn't, what? I didn't do anything. Um, so, we're just gonna go bye-bye. Hell no. I'm sure there's some fun files, but I really don't give a shit. <laughs> uh, let's go back to the applications. And we're just, oops. I forgot you kind of have to really close stuff. Uh, okay, let's top things off with some Wolfenstein. It's gotten a lot better. I thought it would have crashed a lot sooner than this. Um, cool. And now I can safely quit. We are definitely not going to speak of this again. All right. I think that's all the interesting applications I have on this. Um, it's definitely not 107 AM, but, uh, or is it? Thanks for watching. Uh, hope this inspires some Aqua Wizard. Have a good day.